Well, hello and welcome to Whispering Word. I just wanted to show you how the Whispering Word uh, application for the iPad uh, worked this morning. As you can see, we've got uh, uh, the Whispering Word logo there. Uh, it opens up, uh, it just takes a little while uh, to load there, and it's going to pull in, as you can see, this screen here, which has basically got uh, 369 12 options and the frequently asked questions option as well. The first thing that you're going to see on the application is is Word for the Week. Uh, it, it does what it says really, it's updated once a week. As you can see we've got the usual uh, scroll slide here at the right hand side. Uh, you select the actual item that you want, it loads up. If there is any embedded video that's also present in here as well uh, and you can play that no problem at all. I hate the sound of my own voice so, you know, I don't usually play this kind of stuff just to check it really. But as you can see, it's got uh, YouTube embedded in there. Uh, I've got the volume turned down at the moment. Uh, but the usual thing with this, of course, you can expand it, uh, all that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can get back out of here. Let's go done. And that's closed back down. Let's go back to our main screen here. And then you can see Wake Up. Now, Wake Up are uh, a time delivery of morning whispers, daily of biblical devotions. And we've tried to give everything the same kind of look and feel here. So as you can see, uh, we've got uh, September the 7th and September the 6th there. I've just clicked on September the 6th. And again, you've got the usual format of a keyword and a title, uh, followed by a commentary there. And of course, you can expand on that as well. Uh, if you want to actually make the text a little larger. Let's go back and as you can see our third offering along the top here is, is Night Whispers. Again this is time delivery and this gets delivered in, in the late afternoon to your mobile device and it's got exactly the same format there. I think the only difference is that with Night Whispers they're a little bit more uh, intensive in terms of uh, you've got a little bit more time in the afternoon to actually scroll, scroll through. Same kind of, uh, of format, of course. Uh, you've got, uh, uh, this time it's a dream word rather than a keyword, uh, a Bible text, and then commentary as well on that. And again, you can highlight into the area that you want to get a, a good look at, as it were. So these are the two main time deliveries from Whispering Word. Uh, wake up in the morning and night whispers in the evening. Another facility that you've got on the application are the Bible book overviews. These are the Old Testament and New Testament overviews of each book of the Bible. Now, let me just explain this to you. This is updated on a regular basis. I, I write for the uh, uh, UK's uh, number one Christian men's magazine. And, uh, you know, we're getting these out to tens of thousands of people, even in the United Kingdom Armed Forces. So basically, you can select a book of the Bible that you want. Say, for example, if you wanted to have a look uh, of an overview of First Kings, this will load up the particular file. The file size is around about 750k, certainly no more than 800k. So you've got a few seconds for it to download there. So as you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's downloaded the Bible book overview for 1 Kings. You have a, an introduction to the book, and of course you can expand into this as well and have a good old look round. Um, the big story, 1 Kings there. And then you move down to page 2. As you can see on this one here, you've actually got uh, the books of the Bible to tell you where you are. Uh, we're in 1 uh, King, the 11th uh, book of the Bible here. Uh, and again, on all of these things, you can zoom in there. Make them a little bit larger. There we go. There you go. That's really messed it up, hasn't it? Ah, we've got it back now. Little glitch. So you can zoom into all these things. Spotlight uh, for each particular character or main event. There's a feature line on there as well. And oops. And you've got four pages. So. The Bible book overviews uh, are four pages in length, no more than that, with an introduction, a visual overview, and then a summary at the end there. And this Bible book overview library is updated 
on a regular basis, Old Testament and New Testament. So that's going to be number four in your offering there. YouTube, I think that does what it says. You can suck in just an individual uh, thing that I've put up there uh, with respect to maybe once a week or once a fortnight, a brand new video. Uh, the advantage of the iPad, of course, is the embedded video is absolutely fantastic. Calendar is really, well, uh, I do get invited to speak in a number of places and uh, believe it or not, some folks do actually want to come and find out uh, where I'm speaking and uh, to hear what I've got to say. This is actually my personal calendar. You can find out uh, what's going on, where I am, and if you're in that area, that part of the world, then be great to see you. You can come and join me there. Book me facility, again, exactly the same. If you want to book me for a conference or uh, to come and speak at your church, you can do that directly from the actual mobile device here. Now, here's something that's quite unique uh, to, uh, to the mobile offerings of Whispering Word, and that is the forum. Uh, the forum gives you the facility, that's you, the end user, to participate in any topics that have been said. So here's a brand new topic that's been said. I had a, a mate of mine that was uh, banned from actually entering the USA simply because he was preaching at more than uh, one church. This gives you the opportunity to actually see what the topic is and to reply. Uh, you can actually put, uh, I'm going to put some rubbish in here. Uh, put your name as the author there, uh, <clears throat> and then the content, what, what you actually uh, want to say on there. And once you've done that, of course, uh, you can actually send it. Uh, once you actually press the send button, uh, it does what it says. Let me just get a quick uh, drink of coffee here. My throat's getting a little dry. Okay, so that's sent. If you go back now on the forum, you should be able to see the information that you've just sent actually on the forum. And there it is. It's gobbledygook, but it gives everybody a real-time mobile facility to actually participate in conversation. This is quite unique uh, to the app market. Uh, there's a, a monthly newsletter that we sent out as well, so you can actually access the monthly newsletter and find out what's going on. In addition to that... Um, if you want to inform your friend about how great this application is, you can do that and you can actually send it from your contacts or send it directly. I'm not going to show you that because I don't want you to see my contact database. Um, ebooks, I've written a number of publications and continue to do so. And this allows you to purchase and download uh, any particular offering that's on there at the moment. We're adding to this almost on a weekly uh, bi-weekly uh, basis. So once you've actually downloaded the book there, you can open it up to the chapter heading that you want. It, it uploads the chapters and away you go. You can read the book there. So that's a, that's a really great facility of in-app purchasing. Now this app at the moment uh, you know, is available and uh, you can download it from the iTunes store and there's this facility here of in-app purchasing as well. One more thing that I think is uh, is quite unique and the nice thing about this application is that it is in fact a living application. It's updated uh, twice a day. Uh, sometimes uh, if I'm going away uh, uh, speaking somewhere then I can load up the content management system before I go. But inevitably uh, the daily blog offerings here, well the daily blog offerings uh, are done on a daily basis, believe it or not. And this will suck in information from victorfarrell.com and you can find out uh, exactly commentary on current world situation, any kind of interesting clips from uh, other Christian leaders, as it were, that's available widely on YouTube or anything interesting I'll put in there as well. So the usual facilities there. Well, I hope you, uh, you do, in fact, get hold of the Whispering Word uh, application. Just go to iTunes, search on uh, those two words, Whispering and Word, uh, and it will bring you to the suite of four applications. And this one, of course, is in fact the English application. We do a Spanish application. I'm going to show you that just later on. Thank you.